we are going to discuss NAND edge. So that is another useful and very important block in our Logosoft software. So what is our NAND edge? So this is the respective symbol of NAND edge and this symbol indicates that it is doing the NOT operation at the output. And this NAND edge is having, uh, we are having four input lines. If we use two of them, if we leave rest two, then that in those input lines which are not connected will be treated as assigned to one internally. Okay, now how does this NAND edge block is working? So now the thing is that we have got one timing diagram with the help of which you can explain. So when all inputs are high at the same time, when all inputs are high and one of them is going low, then during this particular cycle time, the output will remain on. Otherwise, the output was low when all inputs were on initially. So, when one of them is going low, this NAND edge will have the high as output. So, now it is low, no issues. So, now again you see all inputs are high at the same time. Now, here it has gone low. So, this NAND edge will have the output to 1 or high uh, during this period of time. In the meantime, during this cycle, if anyone goes from low to high transition, that will leave no effect in the NAND edge output. Again you see all inputs are high and here one of the inputs have gone low, this NAND edge will have the respective 1 as output, it will observe 1 as output. During this period of time, if another input goes low, that transition will leave no effect in the respective output. So, in the practical demonstration, we shall show you in the simulation mode that how this NAND edge is working. So, we are going for the practical demonstration of this block now. In this session, we are discussing NAND edge. So, that is one block. We are bringing this one here. That is our NAND edge. So, now it is having four input lines. So, let us take, let us take four make contacts accordingly. So, the rungs have been placed properly. So, now let me go for the help at first. So, here we are getting the clear idea that what is going to happen. When the all inputs are 1, then if any one of the inputs is going low, then for a cycle, this output will remain on. Again, when all of, all of the inputs are 1, if any one of the inputs is going low, then this output will be 1 in that case. And when it is when it is in the on state, the output will be one in this case. And when whenever you are finding this one, it is going down. Then also it has to be maintained, because initially all inputs are one, and this input has got has gone to low voltage. So now it is you see this output is remaining high. So in this way we have got the idea how does this NAND with age evaluation is working, and if there are some inputs are there which is which are not connected then it will be assigned to x is equal to 1 in that case. So, if a block input that is not used x is assigned x is equal to 1. So, from the help we are getting the crystal clear idea. So, let me do the testing on the circuit through simulation. So, you see all the inputs are 1. So, if I make this one low we are getting for a certain cycle this output was 1. Again, I can show that one. It is happening. So, in this way, the circuit has got tested. For all the inputs, the circuit has got tested. So, now let me go for the functional block diagram. So, this is the respective functional block diagram. So, this is our and age so we can bring this one from here this is this is our and age this is the nand age rather so now let me go for the simulation for the same let me make all the inputs one then i shall make any one of them low and output will be one for a certain period of time 
So in this way, the socket has got tested and it is working fine. Thanks for watching this video.